Hello everyone, today we are going to see how to download Redis NoSQL database. Uh, so Redis is um, not available for Windows, it's mostly for uh, Linux and Unix. But um, I'll show you how to download it for Windows. So you can see uh, if you go to Redis uh, quick download and install, you'll um, get the Redis IO download page which is, uh, which is this page. You can see that uh, everything is at a link to Docker or uh, there's, there's not a clear Windows version here, but it shows the GitHub for uh, Redis hashes, which is by Antares, and this has been converted to Windows versions for MSI and ZIP by Microsoft Archives. So you can just uh, go to Microsoft Archives, which is taken from Antares, fork from Antares. So you can just go here, and you can have, you can uh, download either of them, MSI or ZIP. So let's go ahead and download the MSI. You can click on that and um, let's just put it in downloads. This should be a comparatively small uh, file. It's sorry already. Let's go ahead and open it. Uh, so we're going to double click on that. So this is going to install it to particular uh, location. Let's just click next, accept, next. So it will be stored in C program files. You can add it to path environment variable as well. So you don't have to again go to environment variables and add it to add the bin folder. You can just click N. So make sure uh, you know the port. So this will be automatically default port is 6379. You can add an exception to firewall or else it, it just blocks it. Uh, you don't have to set a maximum as of now. Go ahead and click install. Allow it, yes. And once it's done, you can just go ahead and uh, check the folder where it's installed in. And just click finish. So now we're going to go to our C drive, program files, and check Redis. Okay, so it's installed here. So here you can check the Redis server, Redis CLI, which is command line. So if you just uh, click on Redis server, it will open. Uh, it will open. It will run the service basically. So this shows that uh, this is running on the port 6379, and you can go ahead and uh, open the Redis CLI. So this will mostly be localhost calling your port number. Uh, you can just um, uh, Redis is mostly like a huge hash map, so you can say you can do set. Uh, anything you can just set uh, animal as uh, maybe kangaroo, and it will just say okay. Now if you just press get and animal, it will give you the uh, give you the value for the key, and that's about it. That's how you download uh, Redis on your Windows. So we are going to see how you can connect this to your Java other application in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys later.